Is it time to mask up our kids again? It's time to drop this whole farce and just let kids be kids. I've always said that young people have really bore, bore the brunt of the, the largest part of um, this pandemic. And what, what now? You know, what, what exactly are you trying to achieve by increasing testing and by making kids mask up? Like, we're supposed to move out of this pandemic. We're supposed to transition back to normality, not keep, you know, telling young people, actually, we're almost there and then rolling it back. I think young people have suffered enough. It's about time we stop this, we, we get rid of this farce. It's, it's getting ridiculous. You know, I, I heard a, a school leader the other day that said, and obviously I haven't been in a high school any time recently, that they have to wear them in the corridors but not in the classroom. Now, if that's the case, I have to say, I think that's a total nonsense. And mm. pointless because uh, they're clearly going to be mixing among each other. That to me is, is silly. But when you've got rising cases, and we know that schools have the potential to be super spreading areas, when schools broke up at the start of summer, we saw a distinct drop in cases, and we've seen it going up in areas like the east of England now. Mm. But I think, you know, kids that want to get the vaccine and who have any kind of vulnerability should go and get that. Uh, I, I don't think that mask wearing is the end of the world. I think testing makes a lot of sense because then you don't get this situation or it spreads like wildfire through schools. I think that, the thing that's is, a good you know, idea. First it, it of all, no, we were... spreading amongst the young, young people. It's the COVID spreading among these young people doesn't have as much of an impact as it's spreading across society as a whole. Okay, here, here's among a, certain groups of people. Here's a fact. Only one... In five. In 50,000 people who get who end up getting COVID, end, kids getting COVID, end up in intensive care. Yeah. Only two in a million die. So yeah. they're not that much here. But apart from all of that, there is no conclusive data anywhere that says mask wearing prevents the spread of the virus in schools. We're doing, and there are, there are huge physical, psychological and emotional disadvantages to kids wearing masks. Apart from all of that, kids rely on facial expressions to learn, yeah. to take in information. That is being stopped for them just now. You know, and also, part of, and, and, and that as well, kids are developing anxiety because of this, not to mention a whole host of skin conditions as well. We don't need kids wearing masks in schools. We really don't. I think there is a thing, you know, you have to have a reality check here about putting masks on teenagers, for example. There are two schools, two secondary schools, uh, one very posh private one and one state one around where I live and I tell you what at 3 4 p.m. the streets are full of them leaving school and they're all jumping on each other and hanging out and As kids do exactly yeah. Yeah. and so I can't help but but think you know even if they wore the masks while sat in their science class uh, they're probably going to be all in up in each other's faces uh, you know hanging out after school and so I think there probably is a limited benefit you know